After decades of feeling like something was missing, one Laramore man has finally found that missing piece. Now he's sharing his journey in hopes of helping others who are embarking on their own search to discover their roots. Even as a child, Dennis Wentz had a feeling something wasn't quite right. He was raised by his mother of the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa tribe and a German father and grew up in a primarily German household. The family that I grew up with, I love them dearly. Uh, they, they are family to me. Um, but, you know, something, in, something inside of me just, um, just wouldn't let that go. Wentz felt what he describes as a whole, and as he grew older, he learned that his biological father was likely someone other than the man who raised him. When I was about 12 years old, I had learned that um, it was a possibility that, that my dad was a fella named Fat Charette. As an adult, Wentz completed an ancestry DNA test and found out his hunch was correct. You get your ethnicity and all that stuff, and there's no German in you, <laughs> that type of thing. But I did see the name Charette. And I knew that from my childhood. Um, so then I, I, I started doing my own research. His biological father, Ferdinand Dwayne Charette, also known as Fats, is long deceased. But Wentz embarked on a journey of finding his siblings and other relatives. I started looking through and I found his obituary. And then, of course, survivors, his children. Um, and I got a hold of uh, I go through Facebook looking for these names. Having learned the truth about his heritage, Wentz set out to get his birth certificate changed to reflect his biological father. But Wentz says he learned he would need a court order to have the certificate changed. After going through a North Dakota district court, Wentz's efforts were denied. The judge's order stating a man is presumed to be the father of a child if he and the mother of the child are married to each other and the child is born during the marriage a proceeding brought by a presumed father, the mother, or another individual to adjudicate the parentage of a child having a presumed father must be commenced not later than two years after the birth of the child. For me to get my, my heritage back, um, for me to get um, back to the people that I belong with legally, uh, this is something that needs to be changed. Uncertain what to do next, Wentz sought out advice. Since his biological father was from the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa tribe, Wentz turned to the tribal court to become an enrolled member. After submitting documentation, including his and a half-brother's DNA test results, a hearing was scheduled. In August of this year, the Turtle Mountain Tribal Court ruled that Ferdinand Charette is the father of Dennis Wentz, and Wentz is eligible for tribal membership. You finally have been validated. For, for what I had been fighting for for the last two years. Wentz then went back to the North Dakota Division of Vital Records with the tribal court's decision and was finally able to have his birth certificate updated to reflect his biological father, Ferdinand Charette. It means that, um, for lack of a better word, what, what was stolen from me has finally been re returned. Wentz says he knows there's others like him struggling to have their identity recognized, people he wants to help by sharing his own experience. When this came about, when I met my aunt Ramona, she asked me, you know, about how I feel. And that, you know, that feeling, fi that feeling finally went away. And I told her, I said, I'm home. Though he never knew his biological father, He's now working to get to know his added family that has filled the hole he'd felt for so long. In all, Dennis Wentz estimates he's connected with about a dozen relatives on his biological father's side since confirming his identity.